The crisp fall air has settled in and hunters all over the United States are hoping to add fresh game to their freezers. Enjoying the harvest is simple, but many are not fully protecting themselves from harmful pathogens during the jerky making process. If pork or wild game is used to make jerky, the meat should be treated to kill the trichinella parasite before it is sliced and marinated. This parasite causes the disease trichinosis. To treat the meat, freeze a portion that is 6 inches or less thick at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or below for at least 30 days. Freezing will not eliminate bacteria from the meat. When preparing jerky from wild game, it is important to remember that the wound location and skill of the hunter can affect the safety of the meat. If the animal is wounded in such a way that the contents of the gut come in contact with the meat or the hunter's hands while dressing the meat, fecal bacteria can contaminate the meat. It is best to avoid making jerky from this meat and use it only in ways that will be thoroughly cooked. Deer carcasses should be rapidly chilled to avoid bacterial growth. To safely handle meat, always wash hands thoroughly with soap and running water for at least 20 seconds before and after handling. Use clean equipment and utensils. Keep meat refrigerated at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Use ground beef within two days, red meats within three to five days, or freeze for later use. Thaw frozen meat in the refrigerator, not on the kitchen counter. And marinate meat in the refrigerator. Do not save and reuse marinade. The meat can be marinated for flavor and tenderness. Marinade recipes may include oil, salt, spices, and acid ingredients such as vinegar, lemon juice, teriyaki, or soy sauce or wine. This recipe includes soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, smoke flavoring, and salt. Combine all ingredients, cover and refrigerate one to two hours or overnight. Products marinated for several hours may be more salty than some people prefer. If using ground meat, roll out meat using wax paper and a rolling pin. A jerky gun can also be used to form strips or sticks from ground meat. Maintain a common thickness level to promote even drying. I chose to scoop out one tablespoon of meat and form a ball. Then I rolled out the meat to a thin round that will easily fit inside a quart-sized freezer bag when dehydrated. Seasoning such as crushed red pepper or black pepper can be added to the top of the meat strips. I also chose to form large squares of meat that I can later cut into strips when the drying process is complete. Arrange strips on dehydrator trays or cake racks placed on baking sheets for oven drying. Place the slices close together, but not touching or overlapping. Place the racks in a dehydrator or oven preheated to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Dry until a test peak cracks, but does not break when it is bent. Samples heated in marinade will dry faster. Begin checking samples after three hours. Once drying is completed, pat off any beads of oil with clean, absorbent towels and cool. If the strips of ground meat were not heated in marinade prior to drying, they can be heated in an oven after drying as an added safety measure. Place strips on a baking sheet close together but not touching or overlapping. For strips originally cut quarter inch thick or less, heat 10 minutes in an oven preheated to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Thicker strips may require longer heating to reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I prefer my jerky thin and brittle and I decided to form these large pieces and cut into strips. Properly dry jerky will keep at room temperature two weeks in a sealed container. For best results to increase shelf life and maintain best flavor and quality, refrigerate or freeze jerky. Thank you for watching and for more information contact your county extension agent.